what's going on guys and welcome back welcome back to another episode of the walking dead season 8 episode 15 second to last episode of the season we are here it is supposed to be tuesday for y'all it's still sunday for me <laughs> early sunday for me <laughs> <laughs> I get to watch stuff earlier than you. <laughs> it's kind of dumb. You've all watched the show already. Anyways, um, yeah, great episode last time. Enjoyed it. Uh, was a little bit confused about certain things that they were doing in the episode, but it was still great overall. Um, so yeah, I just want to see. I just want to know who's in Negan's car. Like, I want to know who the hell he picked up. Um, getting out of the clutches of Jadis. Jadis, I don't know what part she's going to play moving forward, but I'm curious to see. I also want to know who the hell has this damn helicopter because nobody knows where this helicopter is coming from. And finally, Rick has taken some time to grieve about Carl reading the letter. Hopefully something good comes out of this. I know they were trying, they're trying real hard for, uh, for us or me to hate Rick. I won't hate Rick. Why? Because people go off the handle. You get sick and tired of shit. And you start doing stuff that may not be morally correct. Right? It's understandable. It's understandable why Rick is doing what he's doing. Because he did come back into the fold as in he wants to make a peace. But he already told Negan, ain't no peace happening. I know. Our boy, that's what Carl wanted. He wanted us to make peace. There ain't no peace. I'm killing all of y'all. I'm killing you and everybody else. That, <laughs> that's what's happening right now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, it's not necessarily like he's not, he's going through that, those stages of grief, of course. Um, and I think finally, I don't think he's at the acceptance stage yet, but he's there. He, he's some, he's close. You know what I mean? He's close. So we definitely going to see what's next for the crew um and to see what they're going to do next i'm definitely up to see that i need a haircut badly anyways thank you guys so much and i appreciate y'all man just remember to hit that like button and remember to subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys for the review All right, so season eight is finally in the books. The most hated season of The Walking Dead, in my opinion. I've never gotten so much negative comments about a season in a show I'm watching. Never. I think this is the first, not even, I mean, I guess, I guess season eight of Game of Thrones got the same hate, you know, so it's in comparison but season eight is in the book and i can tell you my rating off bat it was a seven throughout the season but that final episode brought it up to a 7.5 for me and the reason why i'm not giving it an eight is because i think they executed carl's debt very poorly i don't think they did it right i'm okay with it but in some other ways i'm not okay with it you get what i'm trying to say like Carl could have been a long-standing character in the series, and they chose to kill him off. Don't know why. I don't know the circumstances behind it. Even though you guys have tried to explain it to me, it still doesn't make sense. The decision just didn't really make sense. I accept the fact that they they killed him. Right? I accept the fact that they killed him. I didn't have I don't have a huge overall problem with it, but I don't like how it was executed. It kind of seems like it was unnecessary to kill the character. You get what I'm saying? So for me, it's just like, of course, they're going to lose points for that in my book, right? So you guys saw me put out a video season eight so far. I talked about certain things that were happening to the season and, you know, stuff that people just complained about, talked about and how I feel about it. As I said, it's not the greatest season of The Walking Dead. I think this is the lowest scoring season, the lowest rating I've ever g given a season in The Walking Dead, 7.5. No season has that. So season eight is definitely 
my least favorite of all of them right now. My least favorite. And I'm going to tell you guys what, you know, the things. Other than the Carl's death, um, I think... Um, I think the conclusion of the season was very well done. I think they were talking about uh, 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 um, not a linear story, but a circular story, right? Of starting at a point and then coming back to that very point, right? Of what they did this season. Of starting out with the scene with Rick, you know... I don't know. It seems like all those close up and stuff. Cause I was talking about that. I was like, I don't like all these close ups. It's like something is happening and we don't know what's happening around him. But he saw that he, you know, his eyes are full of water. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what's happening. And they brought it all the way back around and they were kind of drilling the theme the entire season. They were dr drilling into us this theme of, we got to have something have to come after. And they executed that very well. I think if you are going to say, okay, they were hype moments and stuff like that during the season. And I loved it for that. Even in the last, um, in the final episode of the scene where I didn't expect Eugene. That's why I was like, I didn't, I didn't expect Eugene to do that so much that I thought it was Oceanside that, sh that showed up. You guys saw that. I thought it was Oceanside that showed up, but they were at Hilltop. They went to the Hilltop, you know what I'm saying, um, and helped out Tara and them. So we didn't lose anybody on that side, so that was good. Um, you know what I'm saying? Rick's talk no jutsu was on point. You know what I'm saying? If you know what talk no jutsu is, it's basically a term that we use, you know, when people are trying to, you know, talk somebody a villain you know to be better to do better you know what i'm saying um in anime that we coined that term us weebs right <laughs> we have coined that term from the naruto anime you know as talk no jutsu be able to just talk somebody down who is just hell-bent on destroying everything you know, um, and trying to have a similar position and explaining their position. Great villains, you know, and just the main character just comes in and just talk to them and they change. <laughs> Negan hasn't exactly changed, though. But Rick's talk no jutsu was very strong, <laughs> you know, um, after he cut his throat. That is <laughs> no, before he cut his throat, I didn't think he was going to do something to Negan. But he ended up doing something to him anyways. Um, I thought he was done. But of course, people can survive. You know, you can survive a, the, the cut. If it's not deep enough, you know what I'm saying? You can survive a cutthroat. You know, it You know, um, it depends on how deep. Like if your windpipe gets cut, you know, that, that could be a serious problem. You know, um, people are living with holes in their throat, you know, you know. You know, people who smoke for a long time and stuff like that. They got a big ass hole in their throat, man. Um, so it's not impossible to survive a throat injury. It, it's really not, you know. So when it comes on to the entire season, as I said, it's a 7.5 for me. As I said, it's not the greatest storytelling in the world. I think the story was well told as in the theme of the entire season, which is you know, there has to be something after. I get it. I really do get it. And I'm always rooting for peace, even though I like to see them go all out against each other. I'm all for it. But at the end of the day, what are we working towards? We got to have a goal. Got to have a goal. And as I said, at the end of the episode, I'm talking about nobody really running around trying to create chaos you know, 100% of the time, all the damn time, just want chaos, chaos, chaos. I'm pretty sure soldiers want to be home with their families and not out there fight, fighting unnecessary wars. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they want to be home with their families, you know, but unfortunately, that's not the world we live in. Eventually, I'm pretty sure deep down, all of us want peace between all the countries in the world. And we could all just visit each other's countries without even worrying about anybody hating us just for the color of her skin or, you know, some arbitrary reason 
you know, of hating someone. We all want that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I wish, you know what I'm saying? Like I wasn't afraid when I go into a car and driving down the street, hoping that no cops stop me and, and things escalate when there's no need for it to escalate and something happens to me. I wish that that's the situation. I wish we would all live in peace and everything was calm. That's just not the case. But as I said, deep down, I think, I think most human beings want peace. They are psychopaths out there. Don't get me wrong. There are people out there that just want to cause chaos. Don't get me wrong. There are groups out there that just want to cause chaos. But I think for the majority of things, I think deep down in human beings, we just want peace. We just want to live together. You know what I'm saying? And just get along. You know what I mean? So I'm always going to root for that as much as I... If you put a, de a de declare yourself an enemy of mine, I'm going to treat you as that enemy, right? But at the same time, if I can get through to you for peace and you want peace also, we can do that too. You get what I'm saying? So I'm totally on board for that. Like I don't have no problem with Rick honoring Carl by finding a way out of this situation, you know, um, a peaceful way out of this situation. Yes, he's going to make an example out of Negan by putting him in jail. They're trying to establish a system. But also, you got Maggie, Daryl, and Jesus now plotting to show Rick and them. I don't know what, but I don't understand why they believe this system will work. I think, I think she's just going to be this angry person that is angry that Negan is not dead. Um, and I think that's where the animosity is going to come from. Hopefully they execute things right going forward. Cause I, to be honest, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I don't like the idea that you're creating a villain from in with infighting at this point. Like it shouldn't be that it should be like, we should go figure out who the hell is flying around in the damn helicopter. That's what we need to be figuring out. Not for you to create now. A problem within the camp. I don't think that was the right move, but let's see what they do. You guys said nine episodes, um, seasons nine and ten is fire, so we're gonna go along with it. Like, you know, let's see what they do. Let's see how good it gets. What happens? Because if 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 Maggie decides that they're gonna take Michonne and Rick out. I'm not for that. I'm always gonna be on Rick's side when it comes on to anything. I'm gonna take his side over theirs. If they wanna be enemies of Rick, well you gonna be my enemy too. That's all I'm saying. He's my favorite character in the show and I think when it comes down to it, yes, he's not a perfect person. He's not a perfect human being, but I think I can relate to Rick because a lot of the decisions that he's made in the show up until now, I probably would have done the same thing. I'm not going to lie. I, I probably would have been doing the same thing. You know what I mean? So I relate to him so much more than everybody else. And that's why I'm always going to side with him. I'm sorry. I'm biased. Whatever. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. That is it. Season 8, 7.5 rated, man. I'll catch you guys next week when we start season 9 next week. Monday. All right. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. See y'all next time. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment. I'll catch you guys, man. Peace.